Welcome to the X-ray department. This morning, the radiographer receives his first case in which he is expected to perform the non-traumatic routine projections for both sacrum and coccyx on a middle-aged male. Before the patient comes in, always prepare the X-ray machine in advance to be time efficient. Raise the X-ray tube and insert the imaging plate in Bucky beforehand because you already know all required projections prior. Take your notes and patient history, then greet the patient with passion. At this stage, you also need to confirm your data or notes related to the patient. Ask the patient to take off his shoes and sit in the middle of the table to attain flexibility for further adjustments. Tell the patient to lie down on the middle of the table to avoid inconvenient and constant movements. Take consent and alert the patient that you will attempt to align him with the middle of the table and the image receptor even more. Tell the patient again and push him in the middle of the table until precision is achieved. As you can see, as a rule of thumb, Maintaining communication with the patient allows for effective positioning. Tell the patient what he's supposed to do with his hands during exposure. Flex the knees a bit and place support beneath them if it's available. And measure the correct SID which represents source to image receptor distance and use an angle of 15 cephalid degrees in sacrum axial AP. Sometimes you might want to use the caliper Align the, the patient to the middle of the image receptor and the central ray Palpate near, near landmarks for accuracy and modify the collimation accordingly. This step is critical, so may, you might want to double check it. Make sure the image receptor is in the middle of the central ray. Explain to the patient how he's, suppo how he's supposed to breathe during the exposure. In this case, the patient has to suspend respiration on the end of expiration. Place the gonadal shield for males and take the exposure. After making the exposure, call for the patient to relax because the position might have not been most comfortable for him. Come closer and inform the patient about the next step briefly. Tell the patient to repeat the previous position if he can't recall it of course. And help him doing that. Angulate the X-ray tube to 10 degrees carded for axial coccyx projection. It of course differentiates between different curvatures for patients. Make sure the central ray is the same. Collimation is slightly decreased lengthwise, while everything else is just the same. Explain the patient how he has, how he's supposed to breathe. And place the lead shield for males. Double check and leave to take the image.
As for the lateral projection, explain to the patient how to conduct before he turns to his side so that he is able to see you demonstrating. Take off the gonadal shield and make full and clear explanation to the patient. Turn the patient to his side and take consent to make true lateral position. Ask the patient to flex his knees properly with support in between. Align the patient's back to the middle of the table and push him slightly until precision is achieved. Reangulate the x-ray tube to zero degrees while the source to image receptor distance is just the same. Center the patient to the central ray and the image receptor too Until that, palpate the asses and, and center the central ray accordingly In this position, collimation should be at minimal because higher KVP, which means kilo voltage peak, is used so that more scatter radiation can be deducted Place the support for patient comfort. Shielding is optimal if possibly achieved. Tell the patient that you will call for him when you need him to suspend respiration. After you've done all of the routine procedures, come back and take the x-ray tube higher for both patient and machine safety. Aid the patient getting up. At this point, you want to direct the patient to the next healthcare provider and ask the patient if he has any further concerns.